Hey guys, Zizek here with another Disney Infinity video. Uh, now that I've actually been playing the game a little bit and I know how everything works, I'm actually going to show off the power discs, power discs I already got, just to show you guys what happened. So we got the terrain piece for Alice in Wonderland, the terrain piece for Wreck-It Ralph, the uh, chrome agent thing from Cars, ow! Yeah, these aren't the best to get out. But by the way, cat's cameraman, say hi. Hi. Okay. We got Cinderella's carriage, the Nemo skybox, and Mike's car from Monsters Inc. And then, like you saw last time, we got doubles of some of these things. And you can see Violet's back there too. We got Violet as well. So I'm actually gonna throw these on the base and then show you the gameplay footage on the gamepad for the Wii U and just show you what it does. So I'm gonna unpause and we're gonna pick Jack because he's the best one. Let us get started on our excursion. Okay. So first of all, let's show off Cinderella's carriage. Over here. Reflection, I'm trying Over to here. Out. Cinderella's carriage. So look up here. <laughs> the playset piece goes up here. So this can either be a playset piece like you get with the game that lets you play with in the Incredibles world and the Monsters world and all that. Or when you're in the toy box, you can use the power discs to unlock toys and themes. So Cinderella's carriage goes on there like that. And it glows orange because it's orange's toy. And as you can see, can you see it? Cinderella's carriage just popped up. Don't get too close. Back up. There you go. So, you can hop in the carriage and drive around. And I don't know why, but all of the audio on the Wii U is really messed up. Uh, I've sent them emails and everything, and they just either re don't reply or don't really give me an answer. But as you can hear, it's really quiet. And uh, uh, this is only on the gamepad, but still... It's really quiet, and a lot of the audio is messed up in the gameplay levels too, but hopefully it's going to be fixed soon. I just horribly crash. But, I'm going to shut up for a second so you can actually hear that you can actually hear horses galloping when you actually drive. If I will stop jingling! Okay. <laughs> Fine, really. Get down. And you can actually hear the Cinderella music too. Uh, so it behaves just like a regular car can't see. <laughs> uh, you drive it just like a regular car. I cannot see anything. God. <laughs> okay. Paves like a regular car. Uh, the trigger is to go forward. You can still drift and everything. And if you get enough boost, you can actually boost and have giant NOS flames come out. And it can do tricks like every other car as well. So that's the carriage. And if you're in the toy box with two player, um, only the first player is going to have it appear in front of them. But if you have a second disc like we do, you can throw that on there and it makes another one come up. So the second player can have one. So let's take these off. And you can see it disappears. So now let's try Mike was asking car. So put that on there. And you get his giant hot rod. So this one is really fast, uh, but again, it's just like a regular car, has a horn, drift, can do tricks, horribly failed doing tricks, and you can boost, do I have no boost yet? I can't see. Oh, hello, hello, I hit something. This is really, really hard to do off the iPhone screen. Okay, there we go. And you can boost. And I just did some kind of feet, okay? So that's Mike Wazeski's car. It looks pretty cool, actually. Alright, so there's that. And next we got Finding Nemo Skybox. So when you put that on here, it's gonna flash purple, because it's a theme piece. And then if you watch the screen, Nothing's gonna change. 
Okay. Let me go over here and see why. I have the sky changer on here, so maybe that's why it's not changing. Let me see. So I'm just going to go into spark mode to move really quick. Let's see if this will do it. There we go. So normally it would change instantly, but since I had the sky changer, it's, uh, you have to push the button to get it to change. And now you can see we're underwater. And you can see over here, <laughs> there's a uh, coral and stuff in the background. And if you look up, right above the castle on the right hand side, hang on, let me see if I can get it. You can see the butt from Finding Nemo. That's awesome. And if you have anyone talking, it actually sounds like they're underwater when you have this piece on. And for some reason on mine, I put this on when I first opened the box, because that's what came in my box uh, for the starter pack. And for some reason, afterwards, the entire game had everyone's voices underwater. It was really dumb. All right, so let's take the Finding Nemo piece off. And once you take that off, it'll actually stay like that until you do the Sky Changer. Which is one of the basic toys you get when you get the game. So it's going to go to night. And then... Wait for it to load. There we go. Now it's back to daytime. Alright, so the last one we're going to look at is... The Chrome uh, Cars piece. So with this one, what you need to do is actually put it underneath your figure, just like that. And then back in the game, you'll see it says Chrome's Armor Shield. You have a chance for invulnerability. So pretty much what that means is uh, if you're being attacked, you can randomly have a chance to have a force field come up and block the attack, and you don't take any damage. Now, I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, but what I do know is... Hello. If you have two, you can actually stack your power disks. So each figure can have up to two st power disks underneath them. So now you can see on the right, we've got... Whoops, where'd it go? Come back. Let me just do this. No? Okay, there we go. You can see I've got two invulnerabilities. You can't really see because she's really close. Kind of a glare, if you can't tell. I know, but if you back up, there you go. So you can now see you've got two invulnerabilities. So now I have a better chance of being invulnerable. And then, because I totally forgot, we've got two more pieces here. We have the Alice in Wonderland texture pack. So when I put this on here, it's going to glow purple again. And then back in the game, it'll ask you if you want to change all the themes. So if you go yes, and... It's going to slowly work through and change everything in Alice in Wonderland. So you see the, the trees are changing, the ground changed. So now it's got stuff like this. And there's some, uh, I think down here. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. His voice is still underwater, even though the Finding Nemo piece isn't on there anymore. I don't know why, it's a bug and they won't fix it, I don't know why. But you can see it's got like the tea party stuff from Alice in Wonderland now. So let's take that off and do Wreck-It Ralph. This is the Wreck-It Ralph texture pack. So when you put that on there, it's going to glow purple. And it's going to change it to Sugar Rush. It's going to work through and change everything. Like that. So now, it's all Sugar Rush looking. So, if you change, uh, if you save the game while the toy piece is on there, if you save your toy box with that theme, then uh, the theme will stay like that. You don't need the disc to be on there the whole time. But, that's pretty much it for those. Uh, I got some more blind bags we're going to look at next and see what we've got in them. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.